Well, the news from our number one industry, tourism numbers have increased again. Minister of Tourism and Aviation, the Honorable Dionisio Diagula, held a press conference today to specifically list what areas of growth have been recorded between 2017 and 2018. Altavis Munix has a story. Record-breaking performance is how the Minister of Tourism and Aviation, the Honorable Dionisio de Aguilar, is describing tourism statistics for the year 2018. He told reporters today here at the Ministry of Tourism's headquarters that the Bahamas has been in the tourism business for six decades, and the year 2018 saw the highest numbers than any other year in our tourism history. Here's just some of the numbers. Foreign air and sea arrivals for 2018 totaled 6.6 .6 million visitors compared to 6.1 million in 2017. 8% comes from Canada. So from North America, it's between 80 and 85% of our foreign visitors still uh, come from those markets. Um, it's our primary market, um, primarily because of distance. Um, it is where we generate the vast majority of our business. Another uh, um, Probably eight, nine percent comes from Europe, and then the balance is the rest of the world. Minister Diagon also indicated that foreign air arrivals went up 16.7 percent for 2018 compared to 2017. Air arrivals to Nassau and Paradise Island were up in every month of 2018, and the major hotels in Nassau and Paradise Island recorded a 34% increase in room revenue. Those are gains not experienced in the past 10 years. Tourism officials say Grand Bahamas saw a 9.1% year-over-year increase in overall visitor arrivals, while the Family Islands collectively recorded a 14.9% increase in foreign air and sea arrivals. I think uh, that the, uh, the commercial airlines have added additional lift into our, major, our three major uh, Family Island destinations, which are Marsh Harbor, Exuma, and North Eleuthera. Um, there's no secret that the infrastructure in place in Exuma and in North Eleuthera are woefully deficient. Uh, people are queuing outside, we just have to pray it don't rain, and, 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 the, and the infrastructure that's currently in place was outgrown years ago. So we're attempting to address those issues, but they are multi-million dollar solutions. Minister D'Angelo responded to whether or not these visitors are still spending when they come here. We survey people, um, but we also look at um, the VAT refunds that people claim, um, and that gives us an indication of where people are, are, are spending money. But um, you know, the number that we generally stick with is about fifteen, fifteen hundred dollars for a stopover visitor, and approximately a hundred dollars for a cruise passenger. So they were kind of in that ballpark. Um, but the, the 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 research is still being done on because it's a little bit more difficult to f figure that out, still being done on whether there are increases in spend. The tourism minister revealed that the country's tourism numbers are up by 16.9%, and he revealed that all indicators show that trend will continue in 2019. I'm Altaviz Manes, Serenas Network News.